Hi guys, welcome back to Rudrash Reddit channel. Hope you all are fantastic. As in this class, we'll discuss about logs and events. Okay, these are very essential data sources, right? It is used to monitor or troubleshoot or analyze your environment, what exactly happening in the real time. How to go to the log section and how to filter the data, I will show you in detail in today's class. Okay, right now I have connected to the Dynatrace console and inside the Observer and Explorer, you find an option called logs. If you feel this is very important for you guys, so in that case, make this one as favorites by clicking on this star option. Okay. So once you make it as a favorite, going forward, it will come directly into the favorites option. Okay. Once you clicked on logs, it will come to this particular page. Okay. In Dynatrace, there are two methods to filter or to view the logs. One is simple method. Another one is advanced method. Whatever the application or the view right now you are seeing, that is simple method. If you click on run query, you are able to get the complete logs details, what exactly happened in your environment for, for the last 30 minutes. It is completely based on the time filter, whatever we have selected here. For example, right now I have selected last 30 minutes. Because of that, these many events we have seen here. Suppose in case if you made it as last 74 hours, and then click on run query based on that the logs and events data will get changed here right so let me make it as last 30 minutes and right now we are in the simple mode as i said and one more method is advanced mode to go into advanced mode you need to click on this toggle option right now we are in the simple mode to advanced mode in case of advanced mode with the help of a dql that is data trace query language we can filter the data in in the manner however we want okay first i'll explain how the simple mode works then we'll go for the advanced mode to go back into simple mode again click on this toggle option you will automatically come into the simple mode okay in simple mode to filter the data you will find two options one by using this filter by application another one is by choosing the particular option inside the available attributes for example if you want to see whatever available inside the main, just click on this and it will further get the data. Right now you are able to see everything like info, debug, warning, error, everything is there in the result page. But I am very much interested in the warnings. So if you click on warning option, so automatically it will choose filter by log level equals to warning and then click on run query. So that you are able to see only the warnings. Right? In the status section you are able to see only warnings like that if you don't want warning you want to see only the errors in that case just click on this error option now the filter by option changed log level error right so i will run this one so that you are able to see the only error things here right now in my environment i have only error only one error log so that is what you are seeing it here and as I said earlier, this is completely based on the time filtering, whatever we have selected here. If you change into last seven days, there are chances that error may get increased. So I just selected last seven days. You are able to see that now the error count is increased drastically. So like that, it is not only for only one entity, you can choose for the multiple. So I want to see it even for the warnings also. So I will reduce it to last 30 minutes again and then I'll click on run query. So now you are able to see the data warning as well as error in the log output page so that it is very easy for you guys to troubleshoot the issues. So if you expand log source, you will find a lot more information in that place also. If you expand host name, whatever right now monitor in the database, you are able to see that based on the requirement, you can select the source and you can play with your logs. Okay. If you feel anything is very much important you are going to use on daily basis that you can make it as favorites. So going forward, you no need to come into the available attributes and filter it. So we are going to get data directly into the favorites option only. How you, how you should do that? That is very simple and straightforward. You need to just click on this star option. So if I make my mouse over the log level, you are able to see one star. I will make it as a star. So going forward you will see that information in the favorites so no need to go into available attributes and do all those filterings right so this is how you can take use of the simple mode along with that 
if you want to create any processing rule or matrix with the help of this data just you can take use of this option and create the data whatever you want then if you come down and expand this azure and all those things you are not able to see any data here because we are not monitoring any azure component likewise aws also it should be empty because we are not doing any aws components monitoring right so when any of the aws component or azure component or gcp docker related integrated with the dynatrace then you are able to see the data associated with that right now i have only one server that is also um, my, that is also my laptop so only whatever the data available in my laptop that is you are able to see it here okay hope you understood how to take use of this simple mode now i will just clear this one so i explain how to deal with by using this filter by option you are not interested to select all these option and you want to filter it here only that is also possible you can select whatever you want here so for example i want to see status is there anything by the name status you can just type it you are able to see it okay status is there i want to see status error and then click on run query so again you are able to see only the data which is having the status equal to error so totally you can either take use of this available attributes or you can directly write inside the filter by application both are going to give the same result now i will go into the advanced mode i will explain how it works to go into advanced mode as i said simply click on this toggle option it will go into advanced mode here you are going to take use of dynatrace query language and you are writing your own query and get the data right now this is a very simple two line dql query what it is doing it is going to get the logs and it is going to sort it out by using the timestamp okay so if you remove this one so it is going to get the logs you are it is not going to do any sorting option so every time do we need to use only logs or is there any other option that is completely depending on the requirement for example i will remove entire data then i will type the command called fetch fetch is nothing but it is just like an a select command in your sql hope many of you have already worked about structured query language that is sql where we use the command called select to get the data likewise here we should use the fetch then here you can choose the things what you want to see here i want to see is there any problems related logs were available just click on p r o b l e m okay so dynatrace is mature enough to understand what we are going to type right now i am interested in the problems so select and then click on run query so it is going to give the entire problems whatever available in dynatrace at this moment because i have selected only last 30 minutes if you change it to last 74 and then click on run query it will change the output based on that okay so we are able to see timestamp entity host host name affected entity id and if you scroll a little right lot many information where is there display id is there right duplicate it is duplicate or not and then category and then event id right and then what is the status of this one and is there anything update happened to this is it under maintenance or not so many things you are able to get it here okay but i am not interested in all this data i want to see only the time step and the host name i am not interested in any other component apart from this then how to do that for that you can take use of an option called field okay now i will click on enter then i will give the pipeline symbol here what is pipeline how it works it will take the data from the previous command and it will send it to the next one okay so now right now in the fetch dt dot davis problems we have the complete list of problems with all these information okay but i am interested in only dt entity host and the timestamp right so for that you can take use of an option called field okay fields i want to see the fields name that starts with dt entity host and then timestamp only these two information i wanted to see then click on run query so you are able to get only that data right you are able to see only host information and timestamp when it got 
collected that data. So earlier it has a huge number of columns. Right now I filtered only these two things. And again, if you want to see that I want to see only the host, nothing else. Straightforward. Just click on this. You are able to see the DT entity host type host information. This is how you can take use of DKL. So not only for the problems like this, you can filter for everything. Apart from problems, I want to see the logs details. Fetch logs, then click on run query. You are able to get the complete log information, timestamp, status of this content, log level, and many more things. So in this, I want to see only log level equals to uh, info. So for that, you can take use of filter, dql filter, then log level equals to info. I want to see this information. Then click on run query. You are able to get only log level equals to info. Nothing will be there. And then you want to see the count of it. Anyway, I have received the data, but I want to see the count. How many level, how many numbers of data is there that is log level equal to info. For that, you can take use of command called summarize. I want to summarize it. Like what? By count. I want to summarize it by using the count. Let me click on run query. It will going to give the exact count. Okay. We got the output. There are total 4658 count is available by the name log level equal to info. And now I am not interested to give the name as count. I want to give some different name. How to do that? Here you can give summarize like I want to see the heading as info itself. Info equals to count. Let me run it now. Okay. Now it is changed to info so that it will be more meaningful value earlier it was count now it is changed to info so that it is easy for the understanding purpose along with that we can see the data in a different visualization type like table format single value or in the bar graph okay so right now we are in the table if you want to see as a single value just click on single value 4.8k 4.799 is the number if you go to the single value it will round to 4.8 okay and heading we have given as info that is what you are able to see it here if you click on bar it is not going to support it for this particular output so it is not giving any value here if you want to get the data in the bar format so you should give the query in that manner in a particular manner then you will get the information in the bar okay then i want to see some kind of uh, patterns matching kind of thing uh, I, I mean to say you have the data inside the content like uh, account was successfully logged in so many things were available here but i'm very much interested in to see wherever we have credential manager that is credential were read i want to see wherever this particular this particular pattern is there or this particular keyword is there i want to see that one then how to do that that is also very simple for that anyway first we got all the logs then i will pass filter contains contains content okay content should match this particular keyword okay and then close this one so what this query is doing now it is going to get the entire data and then it is going to apply the filter where content should match credential if i run it now you are able to see only the data wherever that credential keyword is present credential manager credential manager you are able to see right wherever there is a word credential only that information you are going to get it here like that you can take use of an regular expressions and filter the data depending on your requirement so dynatrace is very much mature enough to understand whatever the command let you are going to give a small words if you write that is more than sufficient for you to understand and it will 
give the value again if you want to see the count of it as i said give the summarize and then give count and then click run query and you are going to get the value 2135 that is a total count and if you go to single value you are going to get the data in this manner right you are getting my point right how to do or how to take use of an advanced mode i'm just giving the basic examples here likewise you can count or you can do whatever you want with the help of dql right that whatever the logs or the data you get you can pin that information to the dashboard or you can download it in the json format or in the csv format so in the next classes i will explain how to take use of different different commands like so far we learned about summarize or count right we will discuss about average or is null is not null contains we can learn lot of different different commands going forward right thank you so much for watching for till the end and if you are visiting our channel for the first time kindly subscribe to it and bye for now